De mijnen van Limburg spreken vandaag nog steeds tot de verbeelding. Er zou zelfs een putheks rondzwerven. Een mysterieuze geest die beladen werd met alle zonden van de wereld. History can be a real gold mine when it comes to stories. And today's story is actually a ghost story. It's a story about mine and a ghost. The ghost of a witch. And when we think of mines in Flanders, we think of Limburg. But not all mines have ghost stories, do they? No, of course not. But this one does. The mine of Heusden Zolder. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Lan Wags. She was the illegitimate child of a woman from Exel. In 1725, she was under suspicion of arson and witchcraft. Normally, the punishment would have been to chop off her hand, strangulation and the incineration of her dead body. But the place of execution was near the border of the land of Ham, pretty far from Exel. Lan managed to escape during transport. She roamed this region and hid in Berkenbos. And there, the story mysteriously ends. She disappeared without a trace into a pit. It seemed that no one would hear from Lan Wax, the condemned witch, ever again. But then, around the beginning of the 20th century, here in Limburg, another story started. Mining exploitation. Around 1901, the first coal mine started and it would lead to several coal mines in this region. Winterslag, Waterschei, Zwartberg, Beringen, Houthalen and Zolder. And it's in this last coal mine of Heusden Zolder that the story of Lan Wax would resurface. The miners of Zolder were very superstitious people. They started telling stories about a putthex or witch of the pit. Everything that could possibly go wrong, they blamed on the putthex. And some miners even claimed to have seen Landwax herself. from Heusden Zolder the only superstitious ones? Not at all. When the miners from Cornwall arrived in America during the 19th century to dig for copper, silver and gold, they brought with them the belief in tommy knockers, small dwarf-like creatures who worked the mines and made strange noises deep in the rocks. But they were supposedly friendly and protected the miners from imminent danger. And even in the most famous mine of Potosi in Bolivia, miners believed the devil lives in the mine. So, when they need to go down to work, they donate gifts to protect them, like cigarettes, beer, coca leaves and even llama blood. They leave these gifts at the foot of devil-like statues placed at the entrances of the mine. And the mines, they slowly became obsolete when focus shifted on other energy resources. What remains today is largely some stories and some remnants fit for industrial archaeology. Today the mine in Beringen is a museum dedicated to this mining heritage. And the mine of Solder delivered her last coal in 1992. So maybe finally the Putex did get her last call for revenge? <laughs>